I just go into one won't hurt, all my results have got, have gone, everyone else is doing it, and then I just feel rubbish. This is a question I had the other day, a conversation I had the other day with someone who was talking about kind of comfort eating and self-sabotage, be it social events, be it just when they're on an evening in, in their house, afternoon. If you're coming in, give me a hello. Happy Sunday. So I wanted to share something with you. Hey, Sue, share something with you today that might help you think a little bit differently. And this is a real simple question in terms of what I want you to do is just take a step back and just imagine that you've got all of the willpower in the world now. Someone's just given you loads of willpower. What would your life be like with that? What would your future you be like? What would future you do? What would you say? What would you be like? How would you be like to be around? What decisions would you make? Now just consider this question. What would future you do in this situation? So when that voice comes in and says, one won't hurt, everyone else is doing it, I've messed up all my results now. When we start doing these self-sabotaging thoughts, what would that future self do? Who would achieve the results that you want, who has more willpower, what would they do? And just consider what they would do and, and now act as if you are them. Now, this might sound really simple, but the research shows that when you act based on how you want to feel rather than how you feel, that's how you're going to get your results. But there's a dichotomy of willpower. The dichotomy of willpower is that it, it takes willpower to do the things that boost your willpower. So what can we do? Let's take a step back now and let's consider that right now in this moment, you aren't comfort eating, you aren't self-sabotaging as you watch this. And you're actually displaying willpower by watching this video. Got you, haven't I? So by doing that by default, the only thing that exists is now. So that means you do have willpower. You just have to remind yourself of that. And you're not self-sabotaging in this moment right now, which is the only thing that exists. So too often we're surrounded by being in the future, in the past. That stress comes into it. We know that drains our willpower and our prefrontal cortex, but when we bring it down to that moment right now, the only thing that exists is now, and we are displaying willpower by watching this or listening, and we're not self-sabotaging, which is evidence that we can do it. Evidence leads to confidence. We just have to tell ourselves that and remind ourselves that. Our energy flows where our attention goes. If your attention is on what you're always doing wrong, you're always going to be thinking you're doing everything wrong. Let me know in the comments if that makes sense to you so far. Also, one last thing with this, we want to consider that when it comes to comfort eating and I deserve it, you deserve it, the, the voice in our head sometimes that says, you know, when I've had a stressful day or just sometimes this come up the other day, I sometimes go into that mode of you deserve it. And I want to make this clear that if you do feel like that you deserve it and you have it and you feel better, then that's absolutely okay. Like, it's fine. Like, we have a very interesting relationship with food. We eat to celebrate. We eat when we're potentially sad at events, you know, social gatherings. If it makes you feel better, then that's fine. But if it makes you, if it doesn't make you feel better, then we need to address it. So then we've got to consider if it doesn't make you feel better, does it make you feel worse? Then we've got to consider, can you call it comfort eating if it's giving you potentially discomfort? Can you actually call it discomfort eating? So maybe you're treating yourself now with discomfort eating because you've said it makes you feel worse. So now, can you write that down? I'm going to treat myself. I deserve to have discomfort. The more we become aware of this, the easier it is. But you've got to keep re repeating this. Just wanted to share that with you today to get you thinking. And I hope that helps. Any questions on that, do let me know. If you found this helpful, like, share it. Someone may need it. Any questions, as always, let me know. Our reboot program is open next week. Flexible start date over the next two weeks where we go over things exactly like this around comfort eating, around that fitness side of things. Whether it's from home, devices, Marlborough. Any questions, let me know on that. Send me a message if you want more details and I'll see you soon. Have a lovely Sunday. Take care.